Hello everyone. I just wanted to make another quick computer tip video uh, for the laptop users in the world, I guess. Um, I recently bought a MSI GE66 Raider 10 SFS-048 uh, US uh, laptop. And the specs on this guy are a uh, Intel i7 10750H, which is going to be the star of this video. And then it has a 2070 Super, 32 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte NVMe, NVMe SSD, and a 240 hertz screen. And as of recording this video, it's 11 11 2020. And it is Black Friday month for Best Buy. And uh, I guess I should point out really quick to show you guys just so you know if anyone else sees this video before the sales end that it should have a black friday sales price of five hundred dollars off i believe it is twenty two twenty one ninety nine normally yeah, twenty one ninety nine normally, and sixteen ninety nine on sale, so five hundred dollars off. And I bought it when it was not on sale, but I believe, no doubt for sure, it's going to be going on sale before the end of Best Buy's Black Friday deals. So I should be getting a five hundred dollar kind of refund, I guess, for the difference. So if you happen to buy this laptop before it goes on sale, and it goes on sale, you'll get the five hundred dollars back. Um, or if you get it for the $500 off, this laptop is a major steal. Though, as I said in for this video, the star of the show is going to be the processor. It has the i7-10750H. This guy runs hot. And when I am playing games like Flight Simulator, the new 13 remake, really more visually demanding, overall demanding games, that processor shoots up to 95C. I've even seen it briefly spike to 100, which is the, what's the term, uh, T-junction T something? I forget. Basically, the max temperature that the die can run at for the CPU, I believe is what it is, or something like that. I'm totally derp right now. But um, a friend of mine reminded me of this, and it has literally improved the thermals by as much as... 45% when I have the cooler boost fan um, on, the fan boost on on my laptop, and around 35, 30 to 35 without the fan boost. And the fix is quite simple. I know a lot of people out there are going to know of this, but for the people who, let's say, got this laptop or another Intel-based gaming laptop that runs hot, it is a pretty simple fix. So the first thing you need to do is just go to the control panel i'll just search it and from there you go to hardware and sound power options and then whatever power plan you have selected click change plan settings click change advanced power settings scroll down to processor power management hit the little plus and on minimum processor state and maximum processor state when it's plugged in it will say 99 or 100 percent for the minimum power state Oop, and i'm getting a call when i'm recording nice <laughs> way to uh i don't know it wouldn't be photobomb but uh <laughs> um but anywho, uh, the minimum power state will be at 100% plugged in. You just change that to 99. And the maximum power state for both battery and plugged in, you just change it to 99%. This will prevent the processor from going into turbo mode. And from there, since it won't be turboing, it's going to improve those thermals greatly. Like I believe while playing the 13 remake, it was as much as a 45 degrees Celsius difference. 
So instead of hitting 95 at its high before thermal throttling, it got as low as 55 degrees Celsius. And even games like Flight Simulator, um, God, I forget what else I played a little bit of, um, like they were running at around 60 to 65, 70 Celsius. So it made a huge difference. So I definitely recommend doing this if you want to have better thermals over a little extra performance, which personally for me, as much money as I spent on this laptop, I would prefer better thermals. I want this thing to last as long as possible. But um, yeah, hopefully this helps you guys, which I'm sure it will. Um, definitely share the video if you know of anyone who needs help with this to know how to do it, or you know, just tell them from what you saw at this video. Super simple fix. Definitely glad my friend reminded me of it, but uh, I guess that is enough of this video, and I will catch you guys later.